Why are the tapes being released at, at we all? Have this. We have well, the tapes are being released because uh, a number of media outlets uh, filed freedom of information requests to get the information, to find out exactly what was on the tapes, to find out how police responded on that day, whether the response was quick enough, whether in fact things were done as they should have been done. So there was a news value in terms of the tapes being released. You know, you talk about these poor families. Uh, nobody wanted to re-traumatize these families. This is something they've been living with for the last year. It's not just a reminder, it is simply uh, a recognition recognition that they are still healing and that this tragedy has simply changed their entire life. What we can tell you, Brooke, is that uh, we've got the tapes now, 25 minutes worth of discussions with 911 operators. These uh, 911 operators were handling calls uh, that were being made from inside the school. We know that there were at least nine phones in the school, one of them in the main office that Adam Lanza actually looked into uh, as he went about his rampage, and that's when one of the administrators there actually placed a call alerting police as to what was going on as the school went into a massive lockdown and teachers there simply worked to try to defend their children. Uh, so we have the audio tapes. They are now being vetted uh, by an editorial team here at CNN and a decision will be made as to what portions to release uh, and what uh, of the which tapes say something that will help mm -hmm. all of us here in this country and around the world understand the tragedy and the horror uh, mm -hmm. if you can understand what happened in the school that day.